Since ancient times, knighthood has served as a symbol of achievement and excellence in combat. Furthermore, those who have distinguished themselves by following the ideals of chivalry, who esteem our laws and customs, and who embody the attributes of nobility are counted as peers. Throughout the known world, knighthood has grown to become the symbol of peerage among those greatly skilled in the arts of combat. Brothers in arms, is your order complete? No, Your Majesty. Majesty. Call forth the candidate. Their Majesty summoned to their presence, Alejandro Ramirez Mendoza. There we go. Three estates say the priests ordained by God. The first toileth endlessly tilling the sod. The second entreats for our souls to the Lord. The third estate lives by the sword. And the third estate dies by the sword. And we are the makers of war. We are the slayers of thousands. We shall be wounded for those who lie safe. We are the third estate. As summoned by his crown, Alejandro Ramirez Mendoza now comes into the court to their stellar majesties, Rafa and Elizabetta, King and Queen of Amatora. We shall know him by his arms. There, bend sinister rules between two falcons displayed sables. His Excellency, along with his wife, Baroness Amalia, holds the lands of Elsie in fee for the crown. He commands warriors as the centurion of the sable star of Anstiora. And Alejandro shows excellence in art and in service, and he's a companion to the orders of the Iris and Star of Merit. He has served two kings of Anstiora and was gifted with gauntlets by King Gunthar and King Lachlan. He has defended the honor of King Lachlan as champion. Showing great bravery on the fields of Estrella, Alejandro was awarded the Sable Falcon. Is it still your wish to accept this accolade from our hands? Very much so, Your Before we can continue, we do have some business with your knight. I do. Alejandro. Your Grace. For ten years and more, you have been my squire. You have been my servant. You are about to become the king's servant. We are always servants. Remember this. I bound you with that. You remove it. And you will keep this. You will carry it on to the one that you approve. Be a master for your greater knights and all of them. Your Majesties, your cousins to the east send words. May I read them at this time? Absolutely. Unto their most stellar Majesties, Rafan, unto Elisabetta, come warmest greetings of this most joyous of days from Uther and Kenna, Der Koning and Der Konigin Glen Aben. Good and gentle cousins, we are overjoyed by the wisdom that has been shown by the chivalry and yourself in recognizing Alejandro as a knight and peer. His path was evident from the moment I did first meet him. His martial skill was of equal to my own, but above that. It was his kind and gentle demeanor that shone with, might I say, stellar grace. He was courteous and chivalrous, and while in the lands of another kingdom, his concern was for the people, not himself. Good people of Anstiora, before you is a good and just and noble man. The man that came to our coronation after writing to ask if he could fight the by fights in his majesty's champion tourney, only to sit up and sew, yes, sew until four in the morning on our coronation outfits. A man that asked only where the needle and thread were. A man that would, instead of taking to his bed after a long drive, give of himself to ensure that a king and queen 
that were not his own had their coronation outfits finished in time for the ceremony. A man that did take the field the next day and do utmost honor not only to himself, but to both of our kingdoms and other people. A man that talked plainly and honestly with his majesty about certain fighters and give insight and support to those of lesser skill. A man that serves the people and protects with fierce dedication the dream that we all share. Your majesties, noble members of the chivalry, populace of the stellar kingdom of Anstiera, this man who kneels before you is our peer. Signed, His Royal Majesty Uther, der Erster Ritter von Glenaben, First Knight of Glenaben. Her Royal Majesty Kenna, Most Noble Order of the Laurel. We are glad that your skill, your honor, your nobility has been acknowledged and seen far beyond the lands of this kingdom. It does our hearts proud. It makes us weep with joy that we hear words such as that from those who do not share our lands but share a border and they share our love for this that we all do is there a laurel that would speak for this man i would speak for this man <coughs> i have watched this man grow <laughs> imagine that <laughs> not really he is, um, yeah. <laughs> he is he is a gift to these gentles he is a gift to you embrace him with all that you are because he is so much of what you are thank you for the choice he is a gift to us all also he is a strong link in the chain that you're building of our he is Is there a pelican that will speak for this man? Yes, Your Majesty. I'm Colonel Rudin, and I've known this man for many years. And unfortunately, someone just stole my joke. <laughs> 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 I have known Alejandro for many years. I've known him since he was uh, entourage for Gunther One. He worked with industry, with earnestness. He was enthusiastic. He never had to be asked to do something. Why? Not only because he wanted to help, but he was a smart worker, which that is obvious in everything he does. It is part of who he is. He surveys, he analyzes, he develops a strategy. It doesn't matter if you're talking about fighting or you're talking about cutting up a tent in the proper way. Not only this, not only does Alejandro exhibit his uh, enthusiasm and his hard work through hard work. He gives of himself beyond that. He has a generous spirit. He now shares himself with others, which is a very difficult thing to do for most of us. It is very difficult to share yourself and open yourself up. And that is not something that is done to show off. It is something to, that is a gift of himself and of sharing with us. He does these things, he does his work because he cares about our community. And he is my peer. Is there a rose that would speak for this man? There is, Your Majesty. I'm Grafen, I'm a little Lizette. <laughs> This man that kneels before you today is of the most distinguished of men, who from this very beginning has always shown honor, truth, generosity, faith, always displaying noble graces through his service to his barony, his kingdom, and his beloved crown. I stand before you today so that all may hear, this man is my peer. <laughs> Your Majesties, I'm Countess Elizabeth Seal, and I would also speak for this gentleman as a Lady of the Rose and the Lady of his Knight. While the Knights focus on strength of body and mind, the Roses focus on the strengths of character, the strengths of heart. Although those knightly virtues are so very important, equally important is the heart of a knight. 
how he cares for his lady, his family, and those he serves are key indicators of how well he will care for his crown and his kingdom. Worthiness is not limited to prowess on the field. It should include prowess in the care of those he holds dear and those in need. Honestly, I have not ever seen a heart as large and as full as that of Alejandro's. The love and esteem he shows his lady, his family, both hereditary and chosen, his household and his barony are an example to the order of chivalry and to those who, to, who aspire to be part of that order. He has been a most loyal squire and friend, a wonderful friend to his knight and a kind and helpful member of our household. And despite his unexplainable need to fulfill the duties of both good and bad squire, <laughs> when he became an only squire, he has been a wonderful friend to me. I cannot tell you how happy I am that your majesties in the order have seen fit to recognize his worthiness. Alejandro is my baron. He is my household brother. He is my friend. But he is also my king. Is there a lion of Anstiora that will speak for this man? Your Majesty, with your permission, I have words from multiple lions of Anstiora, though they could not be here. They wished with our hearts to have their words heard. From Robin of Gilwell, Lion of Onsura, I would bring these words to your court. Quote, I speak for Baron Alejandro. When I first met him, Alejandro was new to Onsura and had some notions that didn't quite work here. <laughs> but he wanted to be part of us and he listened. One of the remarkable aspects of Alejandro is that when he wants to learn from you, he will actually listen. <laughs> and he listened, and he grew, and he became on Sciore. He was a quiet man, once. <laughs> <laughs> and he grew. Now we hear him roar. Roar like a lion. Roar with laughter. And his smile grew. Never let yourself believe that fun-loving is the opposite of serious. Just because Alejandro is facing you with a big grin on his face, you cannot afford to believe he's not serious. <laughs> his fighting is serious, focused, devoted, and joyous. When Alejandro is on the field, the black star burns more fiercely. The field is more Monsieur's character can be seen and admired by all. Alejandro bleeds black and gold. This man is my king. I also bring words to you from Robert McFarlane, Lion of Monsieur. Greetings, Majesties. Circumstances will likely keep me south instead of being in your court to witness this joyous occasion. His Excellency just recently let it be known to me that if I could be present, he would ask me to speak on his behalf. Unable to be there, I send these words that he would have heard. When first I saw Alejandro playing onto the field in our fair kingdom, I thought to myself, hmm, kind of tall. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't seem to be able to walk in two guns. <laughs> As I continue to watch him over the years, I witness the growth of a noble spirit, unstoppable drive and determination, desire second only by his desire to be do good for his lady. His prowess grew and many came to know his name. When he became a centurion, I cheered. When he and his lady became landed, I cheer. Today, he is knighted. Again, I cheer. He is my brother, my cousin, and more importantly, my friend. 
one who inspires me to keep trying. I'm certain beyond a doubt that this man, this knight, could walk into any kingdom in the known world and people would look and know this man is a knight from Monstiora. So adorn him with regalia and let him stand that his lady might have room to hug him and let him know he did it right. I also have words for one other. <laughs> You're a good man, Rob McFarlane. <laughs> Great and majesties. <laughs> Circumstances will likely keep me sooth instead of being in your court today. But to witness this joyous occasion. <laughs> His Excellency just recently let it be known to me, and if I could be present, he would ask me to speak on his behalf. <laughs> Unable to be there, I said these words that he would have heard when first I saw Alejandro Clang of the field in your fair kingdom. I thought to myself, hmm. And a tie. <laughs> <laughs> but don't they seem able to done her and to go? <coughs> As I continued to watch him over the years, I witnessed the growth and noble spirit, <laughs> unstoppable drive and determination. Desire second only by his desire to do good for his queen. <laughs> This proves true and money can tan his name when he becomes centurion I cheered. <laughs> when he is queen began landed, I cheered. <laughs> the day I did again, I cheered. <laughs> he is my brother, no cruising, and more importantly, my mooker. <laughs> <laughs> A body fast be inspires me to keep trying. And I'm certain beyond the two at these shoes, the next goods donor in Tiny Kingdom in the noon world and Oak Wood Swat on new the shield is a knight Freon Stora. Say Adornium with Regaya and stay in make at his queen make a room to hug him and let him then he did it right. Rob McFarland. Rarely <laughs> <laughs> really have I heard such eloquence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if it's possible to top that, but we're going to try. <laughs> Are there spurs for this man? <laughs> These spurs were created by his lady this week. Go fig. He's still telling him what to do. <laughs> In a few minutes, yet. you get to hand him back. <laughs> They are the symbol of the night. From time immemorial, this is the link that we hold with those that rode into battle. They are the inspiration and the guide. The golden spurs are the mark of your honor. To lose these is to lose your knighthood. very short lineage. I made it for myself when I decided that I deserved a belt on my own hand. I made it from gifts from your knight. This 
is the buck, buckle and tip that I was gifted when I run the Roses tourney. And I have carried it and looked down at this rose many times and known that I don't fight for my honor. I fight for my ladies. The white on this belt represents our purity, purity of our spirit. And though it is stained from the outside, from within, it is always pure. Is there a chain for this man? Aye, there is. This chain bears, once again, only a short lineage that, that, of, that of my own. However, chains much like this I have gifted <coughs> since I, I, I received them from the craftsmen through to all our local knights. I would, we now have a new local knight <laughs> with, within your barony. <laughs> And I would, please, have you place it upon your neck. And it, the chain reminds you of the brotherhood interlinked that stands with you at all times. Please wear it in good health. Before we have you put this on your own neck, bind yourself to the crown. We will have your oath of fealty. <coughs> this day. I, Alejandro Ramirez Mendoza, who swear my faith and fealty unto the crown and the kingdom of Anstiora. I shall defend the crown, the people, and the weak from those who do harm. I will uphold the lawful will of the crown, the laws and customs of Anstiora and the society. I do this until such time as my crown releases me or life leaves my body. Your words are good, we accept them. You will never take your service lightly or your words lightly. Back up, I went a long way. <laughs> <laughs> the last blow you ever take on answer. did elevate Alejandro Ramirez Mendoza to the order of chivalry as a knight of the society. For Sir Alejandro, newest knight of the order of chivalry. Vivot! 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 Far from my home, yet there is no company I could love more. Those men who would live by the sword, than those men who would die by the sword. For wine is the little, 
What for wine of true living is war? From its cup my fellows drink deeply. We shall give battle like true men this day. We are the third estate. We are the third estate. Now let the revelry commence! Yay!